Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we are building a modular engine and it's a modular engine that I'm gonna give you guys so you guys can use it for whatever reason you guys wanna use a modular engine. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go to our module engine section. First thing we wanna grab is a crankshaft. And for this, I'm gonna put down three. Uh, we're gonna do an eight cylinder. I know that the math doesn't add up there, but you'll see what I'm doing in just a second. Uh, so we'll do, we have mirror mode on. We'll go ahead and plop down all of our cylinders here. Perfect, let's connect these guys up so that we uh, can share fuel, air, and coolant and all that with it. All right, so we're all hooked up. Now you're asking, why do I have this extra crankshaft? Well. Coolant is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, the way the coolant pump works, there's an actual hole on the back of it. So you can't really have a crankshaft there because otherwise it's in the way. So we add an extra crankshaft, which is gonna give us a little bit more turn power, uh, not much, uh, but it just gives us a little bit of space here to actually work around the radiator. Grab our radiator, we can do that. Uh, we'll probably rotate this depending on what we do here. Let's go back to our modular engine parts. All right, so I'm gonna turn mirror mode off. We're gonna slap that right there. I think that'll be uh, that'll be a good little spot for it. Uh, let's go to our pipes. Here's where I usually decide that I want to change things because uh, they don't work right. Okay, so we get out, and then this is also out. So we need to flip this around. I'm gonna grab that, flip it. Let's see, does that say B? That does. Put pumps pumps through the coolant manifold. It'll pump out, and then it'll go right back in the radiator. So I think I need to turn this radiator sideways like that. And then we can rotate the engine afterwards. Is that B? That is B. So it should come out of here. And where does this one go? This one comes down. Let's go this way. Let's stay out of the way of the actual uh, belt drive system here. All right, place that there, place that there. And now our coolant is done. I always do coolant first because there's so many extra pipes that got to be moved around and stuff. And it just kind of you end up having to rebuild stuff if you don't do your coolant first, at least in my experience. Uh, so we're gonna do and grab all this here. We'll cut it and we'll just rotate it a little bit. There we go. So now our now we're vertical. Now now it actually looks pretty decent here. Uh, so we've got our coolant and that is all. So we need to go back to modular engine stuff. Let's go ahead and find ourselves where is our starter. We can get our starter on here and we'll put it right here on the side. There is our starter. Well, let's go grab a battery because none of this will start without batteries. We can plop this battery. We have a nice little space right here on top. That'll go right there. That's perfect. Man, it's it's nice and compact so far. So we've got our starter, we can crank it. We've got power and we've got coolant. What else do we need? Uh, let's go ahead and let's work on, let's say, let's get our clutch here. I'm thinking we do maybe like double exhaust like that. Let's see, let's grab our air manifold. Take that on there and we can go grab, you know what? This, uh, this engine looks like it needs a scoop, so we're gonna put a scoop on it. And as soon as I figure out which way this scoop should go. All right, and these are nice because you can uh, you can extra stack here so you can get a nice longer scoop. Looks good. Uh, let's see, fuel. Fuel will stick out the side there. Uh, let's go grab ourselves a couple gearboxes. We're gonna face these to the engine. Uh, that's gonna give us our ultimate power there. So we've just built our transmission there. Uh, we can run some cats out of our exhaust. Mirror mode again, and we'll grab an exhaust port. There we go. Uh, let's grab, go back to our pipes. We'll need to do something for our fuel here. Now we've got a fuel line running back. So now what are we missing? Uh, starter, we've got starter. We've got power, we've got coolant. Uh, we've got exhaust, we've got fuel, or we've got fuel soon. Uh, so let's see, let's, uh, let's turn this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this back like so and then we'll do it like that, and then we'll go with the tank, and then we can do these little guys here, just like that, and they are 30, 31 a piece, so we've got, what, almost 90, 90 liters of fuel just right there, that's not bad, not bad for this size engine. All right, so uh, back to modular stuff. Uh, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna do an alternator on this one. Uh, there are some systems where you can put a generator and have the generator kick on as it's needed, but we're just gonna keep charging this battery as the engine is running. Uh, that's the purpose of this engine. Uh, so what else do we need here? I think we're good on everything else. We've got our belt drive, we've got our cylinders, we've got exhaust, uh, we've got fuel. Let's put some resistance on this end piece here. Just for the sake of this, we'll go for a gin. 
grab a medium generator and that way it just has some resistance uh when we try to kick this engine over uh so we're gonna get a throttle uh let's just put let's put everything on the gen down here because all this is uh sections that need to be uh either moved or deleted uh so we're gonna go with a toggle let's let's spell it right here toggle all right, and that is our starter. All right, so now we need an, an ECU, uh, a microcontroller to run and keep this thing running efficient. Uh, so I'm gonna grab one of those. I'll leave a link to this microcontroller down in the comments or down in the description. That way you guys can download it as well. And I'm gonna leave this engine on the workshop. So you guys will have the microcontroller and this engine and you guys are free to use this engine however you want. So let's, uh, let me grab that microcontroller. All right, I've got the microcontroller. What am I doing? I'm gonna stick it underneath. I always like sticking these guys underneath. It always feels like it's, you know, an oil pan or something like that for the engine. It just fits. It gives it that nice look. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's hook all this up. Uh, this should be pretty simple here. Uh, so we've got clutch to clutch. Uh, we don't have a generator clutch, so we don't have to deal with that. Fuel manifold goes here. Air goes here. We've got our starters. That is that one there. Our toggle, which is our starter button, goes to there. Uh, what do we have left? Our battery charge. We can go ahead and hook that up, but we are not using the generator. So that's, that's the alternator is just going to charge this nonstop. Uh, RPS can go into RPS and throttle is this guy right here. Uh, let's see. We're missing something. Generator clutch. No. Um, we need the alternator to run. So we're going to do the clutch on there as well. And let's go to composite. We need to run our data to our microcontroller. And that is it. Now there is a second microcontroller that goes with this so we have some data that comes out it gives you a nice little screen gives you all kinds of readout uh, i'm not going to hook that up but this is ready for that and again like i said this is this has a generator ability in it so that if reads the battery if the battery gets low what it would do is if we had a separate heat piece here what would come out there'd be another clutch to a generator it would actually run that generator only when it needs to run the battery and of course this would be your wheels or prop or whatever you need uh let's spawn this in actually you know what? we need to hook a battery and then let's spawn this in and see if it runs all right i'll spawn in let's give it a crank see what happens all right we're cranked up and it's running 13.9 on the air fuel ratio looks like we're doing pretty good sounds like it's running really nice too it's just a steady 14 rps i'm sure we can get a little more out of it Let's get it all the way to 20. If we can get all the way to 20, that means we got some more, uh, you can always do some more gear ratio stuff to it. All right, so with this generator on it, we're maxing out at 18 RPS. Uh, so that's not bad. This engine's got some power. Uh, so yeah, there you go, guys. That is an eight cylinder, I guess you would call this a radial engine. Uh, I'll leave this, uh, I'll leave a link to the workshop on this. And uh, yeah, you guys are free to use this. And I think what I'm gonna do each week, I'm just gonna build a new engine and uh, let you guys have it. And you guys are welcome to do whatever you want to with it. Uh, give me some suggestions. If you guys want me to build a, t a type of engine for you, I'll, uh, I'll be glad to tackle that too as well. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you throw a like on it. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. There is lots more to come. And yeah, we will see you guys in the future.